Speaking of kicking in, hit it, boys. Oh, I love it. We're such a well-oiled machine here. <laughs> like I said, it's just oh, after oh, 3 oh, o'clock. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? I the rumble in the Bronx. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think I like the acapella version better. I just for the sake of doing it. Pause. Yeah, get the, get rid of that. Zoo, why don't you give us the Yankee music? Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 you can bring me down a little bit. Feel the rumble in the Bronx. Oh, where, oh, why, world the Bronx. Gonna show you that you're not alone. You're not alone. All right, it's the Jersey Mike's Yankees box office blitz. We got a pair of field level tickets to see the Bronx Bombers against Toronto the Sunday, August 21st. Be the fourth caller. Fourth caller right now. At 866-540-WFAN, that's 866-540-9326 for your chance to win. You can stop singing now. Uh, it's all from Jersey Mike's, the official sub-sandwich shop of the New York Yankees box office blitz and the fan. Fourth caller right now. We, By the way, we've been playing that song since 2009. It's a uh, local group that at the time was called Faux Onassis. And they're a bunch of local college kids who put together a badass rap and had these two great uh, female singers doing the hook on it. And everyone just loved it. And now here we are, 13 years later, no World Series appearances, no World Series wins, but we're still using it to give away Yankee tickets. That's how good it is. Yeah, they did it in studio. That was a live performance of uh, Rumble in the Bronx. And if you ever listen to the rap part of it, it's almost like, you know like when you're in elementary school and you do that thing where the you do like the uh, the time capsule thing? Did you Have your kids done that yet in school? Maybe they, they have know. not. No, but I know <clears throat> what you're talking about. At some point, every kid does that where you're like first grade or whatever it is, elementary school, and the teacher says, bring something in and we're going to put in a time capsule and then whatever, you know, 25, 50 years later, ostensibly, you know, a future teacher is going to be aware that these time capsules are buried on school property and they're going to start digging them up, which would be kind of cool, right? Like if you dug up a time capsule from, you know, the 1965 third grade at whatever school you went to, that might be a pretty cool thing to say. Well, that's kind of how we treat Phononassis. It's a time capsule to better times when the New York Yankees not only made it, but won a World Series. 